Cancer, and welcome to your love reading for the week starting September 18th, 2020. Today, I'm not going to be using the Essential Tarot deck. I'm going to be using the regular uh, Rider weight deck. I'm also going to be pulling some Romance Angel cards. And I'm going to start with a Angel Answer card. So with this card, the purpose is it will either come together and bring together the uh, reading at the end, or it will answer whatever question you have. So love reading for Cancer for September 20th, 2020, September 20th. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. That was pretty funny. So now, of course, I'll be wondering is, but you got three cards. Oh, here, we're gonna, I'm sorry. We're going to do that again, Cancer, because three cards is too many messages. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what it was at the end, because I don't read them now. This is going to answer your question, okay? Neither of us know the answer. Okay, let's see here. So, what does Cancer need to know for love? September 18th, 2020, the week of September 18th. Cancer. Okay, what do you... Oh, we start with temperance. Temperance is about patience. See, she's got one foot in the water. The sun is coming up in the background. And she's just pouring from one cup to the other. So, Cancer, are you being patient? Let's see here. Let's see. Love for... Uh, cancer love... Wow. You don't get the whole deck, kiddo. Let's see. Cancer love reading September 2020. Can I get some cards for the Cancerians out there for their love life? Give me a couple cards. Whoops, here we go. Oh, a decision. Well, that would explain the need for patience. See? Here she sits. She's not making a decision. She's got two ginormous swords. I didn't realize how big they are in this card. And it almost looks like she could peek out from underneath there. I don't know if you could tell. But, I mean, if she puts one sword down, she can move the blindfold, right? So, somebody's not making a decision here. And that's probably why you're needing to be patient, Cancer. And the next card is the Emperor. Hmm. Look at him. Now he is a major arcana, just like Temperance. So, so far you guys have two, <laughs> look at two major arcana. I can count, I swear I really can. And now I'm going to use the book on some parts when I'm not positive. Stability, power, aid, protection, a great person, conviction, reason. Well, I definitely say that someone is trying to reason it out. Someone's being patient. The person trying to make decision, well, that's the emperor. And to me, that's, I always think of that being the person who's in control. Because if you're waiting, that means you've, you're allowing someone else to be in control of the situation. So, some clarity on the emperor. Actually, let's let's find out about this decision. Tell me more for love reading for Cancer, starting week September eighteenth, twenty twenty. Cancer love reading. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, sorry. This is why I end up going with the little cards. <laughs> Cancer, love, here we go, five, four, three, two, and see, on one, we got the four of pentacles. Now, he's holding on to his pentacles there. It's almost like someone's just not deciding. Like, it almost feels like someone's just at a, like, I'm I'm just not going to decide. And you can't make me decide. That's what it feels like. 
Four of Pentacles, a crown figure having pentacles. Okay, the surety of possessions cleaving to that which has gifts, legacy, inheritance. Hmm. So, let me see here, Cancer. It almost looks like you're being patient, like, you're being patient, but are you, are you worried about, I don't know, it almost, what are you worried about? Patience about a decision, trying to reason it out, and worried about inheritance? Money or tell me more about the four of pentacles. I'm sorry, Cancer, but this is not very lovey. There's not a cup in sight. There's reason. I mean, the only cups is temperance, and that's some patience. There's a decision. There's reason. Cancer, is there somebody? I mean. Wow. It almost looks like whatever decision you're making in love has more to do with money than love. Well, I hope that's not true. That's sad. Although I understand in the age of the way the world is, trust is not an easy thing. Ooh, but cancer. The nine of swords. You're worried, and that's why you're holding on so tight to your four pentacles there. You're not sleeping. I think that the, the emperor is just is just like proof that you are not able to, you are just going to believe what you're going to believe right now. You want to make a decision, but the emperor tells me you can't. The four pentacles assures me you can't. And making this decision is keeping you up at night. That's what those nine, those nine swords. You're not even feel like you're part of the party, as they say. Boy, whatever's going on, either this is you. See, Cancer, this is one of those readings. And then you also got the seven of pentacles. Oh, oh, Cancer, did someone? Okay, now, this the seven of pentacles. I'm so glad I can read. The seven of swords, it's also a lying, cheating thing. Did someone hurt you? Is that what this is about? Because you also got the feeling left out in the cold, the five of pentacles. These people could go in the warm church, but they don't. They're 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 just sledging through the ice cold snow, injured. It looked terrible. So to me, and this came out more like this. Wow. Cancer, someone broke your heart and you can't decide whether you were indecisive. It, it, here, here's the story, Cancer. So you were patient with someone while they decided whether you were going to, you know, have a relationship. And maybe you started, but then you found out that they were maybe not being faithful to you or that they were lying about something. And now you feel left out in the cold. That would be a heartbreak. I'm so sorry, Cancer. That's terrible. So here, let's see something here. So what is the outcome? We'll get an outcome card for Cancer for this relationship. What is the outcome for Cancerians for this relationship? What is the outcome? Hmm. Queen of Wands. Now, I'm going to read just to make sure. But the Queen of Wands, to me, I want to say that it's it's you, Cancer. I think that you come out of this okay, that it's not easy. I mean, Cancerians, you guys are, are pretty sensitive people. Queen of Wands. Throughout this suit, the wands are always in leaf as it is a suit of life and animation. Emotionally and otherwise, the queen's personality corresponds to that of the king, but is more magnetic. A dark woman or country woman, friendly, ch chaste, loving, honorable, 
If the card beside her signifies a man, she is well disposed towards him. If a woman, she is interested in the querent. Also, love of money. So I have to ask two questions here, Cancer, because now there's two stories. In this story, you choose the money that you have a relationship and you don't trust them because you think that that may be what they're after. And so you say, forget it, I'm gonna move on. The other story is that this is love and that they did break your heart. But to me, you're gonna be fine. The Queen of Wands is magnetic. To me, Cancer, this says that if this is a relationship that's ending, you're going to move on. You're going to be okay. Let's see. What's your romance angel card, Cancer? It's a rough week for you. I'm so sorry. Cancer, romance angel card. What do we get? Soulmate? Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> Listen, if this is your soulmate, this to me sounds more, you know, without giving away too much, I know some soulmate relationships and soulmates aren't always meant to stay. Sometimes they're just in your life to teach us a lesson. Soulmates come in many forms. Whoever this is, this could be your soulmate. And if it is, I know this is going to sound crazy, but as someone who's had some experience in this, they may come back because soulmates sometimes come in and go out. Other times they go in, they teach you a lesson, and then they go away. And we do have, what, the new moon? I don't know if that'll have any effect on it, Cancer. Wow. Because the other question becomes is, do you guys work it out? Now, let's see, Cancer. What's this card? Within the next few weeks. So, after seeing this card and how beautiful it is, what if your soulmate is coming? Maybe this relationship needed to end so you would be open to meeting your soulmate. You know, Cancer, whatever you're going through, if you believe it's a soulmate relationship, I don't know, within the next few weeks, maybe you asked if you would come back together again. If that was your question, within the next few weeks. And if you've decided that you're done with this person, within the next few weeks, maybe your soulmate comes in. I don't know. I think either way, it sounds sounds really good because sometimes relationships build by going through the hardships, you know? So thank you so much, Cancer. Be strong. Take care. Um, if it resonates, please let me know down below. Please like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell, wherever it may be. Thanks, Cancer.